This is Acer Swift One. The screen is cracked as well as the actual front bezel. So I'm not focusing on bezel because sometimes it's difficult to get and sometimes it's too cheap but it takes so much time to get delivered when you order online, okay? So I'm focusing on the screen. As you can see, the screen is shuttered. So first thing we have to do to replace the screen, switch it off completely, okay? And also we have to remove the internal battery. Otherwise, when you disconnect the LCD connector from the actual screen and try to reconnect again, that could make a spark and damage the actual GPU. So I would suggest you always when you do, do in that way. Okay, this process is little longer than shortcut, but it gives you completely safety to replace any part without damaging the actual motherboard, GPU or CPU. So first of all, let me show you which screen that I got. So this is 14 inch LED LCD IPS FHD display panel, which takes 40 pin connector. All right, and it doesn't have any screw hole for the LCD bezel, okay? So first thing is first, what are you gonna do? We're gonna pull this out like this. It's broken anyway. And at the bottom part, they use some sort of adhesive. So we have to work on this firmly. And I opened it a couple of times. That's why it seems it's pretty simple and easy, okay? But this is the shortcut method. Sometimes it's easy to take the front bezel out, sometimes it's not. So if it doesn't come out, what you have to do? We have to separate the LCD panel from the actual keyboard panel and pull it manually. So this one is not coming off. So what you have to do, as I said, we have to take this screen panel out, okay? So this is not the right procedure that I'm doing. If you try that one, this is completely wrong, okay? So what you have to do, let me show you the actual technique. So first, we're gonna take out the back cover and then we'll disconnect the battery and then the third one will take all the screws from the actual hinges and then we'll disconnect the LCD connector and then we'll separate it and work on it. This is the right way. Even it takes so much time, you need to take out a lot of screws. Believe me, this is the proper way. It's quite safe because there is no any power source. Plus, when you disconnect the actual LCD connector, you'd have plenty of room to do that. Okay? When you left the LCD and LCD uh, hinges uh, connected to the actual laptop, it's pretty difficult to pull out. 